For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. Stop by Anthony Franco's of Sparta and Roxbury after the game where we believe that quality and satisfaction go hand in hand. We take great care to author authentic New York style pizza as well as many classic and modern Italian dishes without compromising on cost or relying on ingredients that are frozen or preserved. Our ingredients come from Wisconsin's finest dairies. We order pasta made weekly at one of Brooklyn's oldest pasta houses and coordinate daily deliveries of the best fresh meat and produce from the Hunts Point Market in the Bronx. I'm not sure if you know about this, but there are heat pump systems that can actually heat your entire home by simply using the air outside. A heat pump is an energy efficient alternative to traditional heating systems. This can lower your energy costs by up to 60%. And here at Integrate Comfort Systems, we are proud to offer a $2,000 cash back on heat pump installation. If you're interested in learning more about our fantastic offer for heat pump installation, call us today, click below, and visit our website to schedule your free consultation. At Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver, and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quote or service question at 973-377-1915. George J. Keller and Sons want your house to be the kind of home for all to see. Best roofing, windows, siding too. Great solar and gutters, we're here for you. Our seasoned pros are unsurpassed, so give a call, we'll take your task. Transform your home, that's what we do, so give a call, we're here for you. For roofing, siding, windows and solar, we do it all for you. George J. Keller and Sons. Your family-owned operation since 1980. Call for your free estimate. I actually used to be deathly afraid of public speaking. I intentionally became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line though, WIS supports my passions. I truly believe that WIS wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. More 
Aurora Sussex Sports has a big goal we want to ask your help in achieving. One of the most popular things we do is publish digital trading cards of athletes. We feel strongly that high school athletes are one of the most important parts of our community, and the trading cards allow us to recognize and celebrate as many athletes as possible. So we have a lofty mission to create a trading card for every single athlete that wears a sports jersey in the Morris Sussex area. But to do that, we need more local businesses that want to help us by sponsoring these trading cards. This is a great way for a business to endear themselves to the communities they do business in. And not only would their business be featured prominently as a sponsor of a new scholar athlete every week, we also advertise them across our social media, our website, and our game broadcasts. And we get over 4 million views a week, 80% of whom are adults 35 to 65. There is no other publication or media company that has even close to that reach in this region. So if you know of a local business that loves to support the scholar athletes in their town or their surrounding area and would benefit from the exposure we would bring, please send them our way. Just call or text 973-713-5944 or email george at morrissussexsports.com. Choosing a college is a big, big, big deal. But I know I started right because CCM is in the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you. Jen Basilino of the Kosher Real Estate Group, LLC, is a Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million-dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202-2103. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast it's worth the wait. Montella Inc. is a family-owned dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt, quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers, whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232.
Is it time for you to replace your roof? Well, give Hadco Builders in Chester, New Jersey a call. They've built an amazing reputation over the past 30 years as one of New Jersey's top builders. Hadco will replace your roof the right way at a super fair price and usually get the job done by the time you come home from work. Call or text Tony to get a quote today at 973-818-8516 or visit them at hadcobuilders.com. Hi, my name is Edward Capozzi, and I'm the chair of the Brock Eichler Personal Injury Department in Roseland, New Jersey. When I was asked to sponsor the KJS ice hockey team, I said, what a great fit, because not only am I from an ice hockey family, but I'm also living in Kinalong. My son plays goalie for Jefferson Middle School, and I've lived in Sparta. So I'm very familiar with the community and many of the people who are involved in the youth hockey sports. So if you're injured in an auto accident, an elevator crash, a trucking accident, a slip and fall, please give me a call, and I will take very good care of you. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Do your glory days as a high school athlete feel far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry. The team at Better With Physical Therapy's one-on-one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. You can get better with better with physical therapy located in the madison ymca request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com hi i'm rob guswell as the branch manager of our persipony location for north point bank I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping behind the goal, we reset, and TJ Santeda has it for the Vikings. Pull the check. Gets the strike. Anthony Grosso is going to make sure that the Wolfpack fans go home happy. Grosso for three. He got it! Good evening and welcome to Morris Sussex Sports coverage of MCSS IHL action from Men and Arena. The nightcap of our action-packed triple header features the Gil St. Bernard's Knights, 4-7-2 overall and 2-5-2 in the Haas division, taking on the Roxbury Gales who hold a mark of 11-4 overall and 6-3 in the Haas celebrating their senior night. They are looking to put a bow on their remarkable regular season by honoring a large group of senior leaders here this evening. We'll be bringing you that ceremony live in just a moment, but before we do that, I am Reed Keller, joined by cameraman and color commentator Charlie Brooks, and color commentator and producer Sean Bretherick. And guys, this is the nightcap of a great day of hockey here at the Men in Arena, and it's really gonna be about Ken Roxbury Ron Gil St. Bernard's off the ice like everyone sort of expects on a senior night. Yeah, that's what everyone would expect, but because of the result that we just had in the earlier game, there's a lot for Gil St. Bernard's to play for. They are playing for a chance to get into the Haas Cup with a win, anything other than that, and it's Park Regional that goes, but as you mentioned, it's Roxbury Senior Night. You expect them to win this game. 13 total seniors during their career for the Roxbury Gales that they will be honoring this evening. And so we'll send it down to the ice. Number 12, Stephen Ellison.
the seniors can skate toward the penalty box, retrieve flowers, and hand them off to the parents. Number 14, Jake Kalani. Jake Kalani's postgraduate plans to attend college, earn a BFA degree in graphic and interactive design, and play hockey for the school of his choice. We expect him to be Number a five, key contributor Aiden in this Riley. game. Number six, Gavin Woodenberg. <laughs> Number seven, Stephen Whiteman. Whiteman spent his entire winter break playing pond hockey wants to study forensic psychology at his higher level of education. Number 11, Connor Francis. Francis wants to be the next great filmmaker from the state of New Jersey. Number 16, Juliana Fizzo. Jules plans to become an athletic trainer for a professional sports team. Number 17, Dan Castellano. Castellano is coming off, scoring a huge goal against Park to give them a win back on the second. Number 22, Tyler Peterson. <laughs> Number 26, Blake Salemi. Salami's headed off to the County College of Morris to be a music major. Number 27, Joe Mattitz. There you go. He's going to attend the UTI Trade School for Diesel and Heavy Equipment Repair. Number 28, Luke Scaraggi. Scaraggi is accepted into Embry-Riddle's aeronautical science program to further pursue his aviation studies. <laughs> yeah, they are a little backed up. Yeah, they, yeah, they're getting there. Everybody needs their moment in the sun. And number 31, Joe Fragali. Fergali is uh, hot on our heels, guys. He plans to study communications and media, and he's going to go and play football Yeah, he, was he a, gets to college. He was a kicker for the Roxbury team. Yes, he was. And hopes to make some kick saves and beauties tonight as he will get the start over the usual goaltender, Mikey Guadagnino. Senior class 2023. And so... Ceremonies almost wrapped up as Fergale will take his pictures. While we're getting ready to drop the puck, we want to thank the Roxbury Boosters for putting on this fantastic night and, of course, for bringing us into broadcast it into the homes of those who could not be here. It's the largest crowd we've had so far this evening for our three contests. We also want to thank Gil St. Bernard. It's a great school to further your child's education. They're a top private school in Gladstone. And they are middle states accredited and believe the world is their classroom. So, guys, as we're getting ready for puck drop, 
Roxbury beat Park 7-5 to five back on the second. Came back from de deficits of 2-0, 4-2, to nothing, four to two, and were tied at 5 in the third to win it 7-5. to five. It was a huge win for them. Pulls them into at least a tie for second place right now with 12 points. And this could be a really, really big night for them to put a bow on the great careers of these seniors as the home team here at Menon. Yeah, this is a big chance for them, as you mentioned, wrapping up their seeding, but also just sending out the seniors the right way. That is what you always ask for. It's not going to be easy against a Gill team that now has seen a glimmer of hope to keep their season alive. They're led by a pretty good goalkeeper we see now. But everything kind of points in the direction of Roxbury right now, the second team. And we now get a good shot of Joe Fergali in net 1-0. Five goals allowed so far this season and really one of his only chances. And that's kind of because of a little knock to Guadagnino who's dressed but not quite ready also. I doubt he was going to start anyways tonight because it's senior night for Fergali. GSB comes in on a two-game winning streak. Now those two wins were over a 1-15 Vernon squad. But Julian Tramatano scored two goals and had the game winner in that game as we are underway with the soulful sounds of Start Me Up. We're not going to stop the music. Oh, now we are. Now we are. The uh, announcer had to. Michael Scarpati had the puck as he rolled into the offensive zone, and GSB with some early pressure. Hip check thrown in the corner as Scarpati will roll it back up top. Shot blocked in front and just out of the zone. And Roxbury now off to the races. In behind the GSB net. Pushed up towards the half wall. And making a move is Porter Clark. Gets it on a drop pass. Tried to weasel his way around Ellison. Could not. And the puck will trickle back down for an icing. So Roxbury expected to roll through a lot of their players this evening. Get everyone a taste of the action on a senior night. Just underway here in the final contest on our Morris Sussex Airwaves here this evening. Puck is dropped and it's in behind the net. Scooped up by Peterson, working it up the wall. He'll escape the zone. Tries to make a move in front of the scorer's table and dumps it in. Back to get it, Porter Clark. Rolls with it behind the net. Faces pressure from his right. He didn't initially see it. He got away with it, and then there's a trip coming up. And that's going to send Sean Hardy to the box with the first penalty of the night. Just got a stick in between the legs of the GSB defender. Not exactly the way you envisioned your senior night starting, having a player go to the penalty box, but a good chance to kill this one off and try and give yourself some momentum to take out of this two minutes that you're trying to kill off. It's a hot opportunity for GSB as well. Getting some offensive zone time. Scarpati and Tramontano out there. Along with Latornis. This one is up and shot right into the glove of Fregale. He makes a strong save to begin the power play. Fregale during the football season may be known for his legs, but showing off the glove there as well. Showing off the hands. GSB wins the face off. They'll roll into their power play setup. Tried to force it into the zone, and Fregale had to come across and make a sharp save with the blocker. That looked weird, but he got it done. Now it's going to be a two-on-one breakaway, short-handed. The pass in front almost trickled into the back of the net. And a hold-your-breath moment there for GSB as they force it into the offensive zone. 
pulled around and pushed up and down to the other end of the ice. Roxbury with a couple of easy clears. Nice move through traffic. That's got to be Tramontano. By Tramontano. Yeah. Forces it wide. Pass into the high slot. Missed his man. And now he'll get it back on the far side wing. Still holding it. Holds the zone. Forces it low. And up and out of the reach of Porter Clark. And running oh. away with it on an early breakaway. In alone and forcing it high was Kalani. And he could have put the Gales up early. Rare miss there from Kalani, but they know about Jansen. They go to high. Scarpati gave Whoa. it up and a shot in and a nice save made by Fregale. He just flings himself all over the place, doesn't he? Another sort of breakaway. Shot wide. That one off the stick of Van Zyl. Now controlling it low, Kalani. Tried to flip it behind the net, lost possession. 11 seconds left, time for one more GSB rush on the power play. Pulling ahead, Tramontano, and he tried to go short side, could not, and it's an easy clear to close out the power play. Porter settles it down, makes a move at the blue line, controls through center ice. Porter Clark leaving it. And having to settle back up is Scarpati as Clark went off sides. They try to flip it towards the Roxbury bench. It's a successful pass. Henry Smith loses possession. And back coming the other way are the Gales. Nice move through the zone. And a pass was just off the tape in the back door of the net area. Pulling out of the zone, facing too much pressure is Tramontano. He tried uh -oh. to leave it off, and that one didn't work. Holding him. Trying to force off Cam Guerra. And then a pass is behind its intended receiver. That was in the direction of Matthews. Now stealing away with it, shooting and scoring is Gavin Woodenberg. He stole it off the gray zone turnover, and Roxbury's up early. That is a good job by Roxbury to force the turnover. Finally, a breakaway chance that they're able to put into the back of the net. And there's that 1-0 lead that was so needed. That's going to be a completely unassisted goal yeah, for Rudenberg. Yeah. He just jumped the pass of the gray zone. That's just not good. That's just not a good job in their own zone uh, for Gil St. Burns. Cannot have that happen. Bodies go flying as the puck just trickles into the Roxbury offensive zone. Now they have it back near side. Gutenberg is one of the seniors as well, right? Yes. yes, it is. Moving into the word. He has it again. He was bumped off the puck. Now fights for it low. Tried to force it out into the slot. And a shot is blocked. As trying to make a play is Skaraji. Gutenberg back on it. Forces it up top in between two defenders. And Connor Francis will flick it deep. Brendan Binder. 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 Picks it up. Loses it. Now it's out to center. Nice move put on by Barua. Forces it up in the direction of Wudenberg. Now it's back onto the stick of Barua. He can go D to D if he wants. He's holding it. Trapesing towards the center of the ice, and now he puts it up through center ice. Icing is waved off. And Trey Sanford back to pick it up. Sanford races through some pressure, took a hit, tried to force it forward. And instead, it ends up in behind the Roxbury net. Pass up through center. Tapped down and pushed ahead by Barua. Now he'll cycle it low. To his opposite number, that's Trey Sanford. Sanford's going to reverse. And now it goes back up through center. Nice tape-to-tape -tape pass through a couple of Roxbury sticks. Moving through the defenders is Scarpati. And he loses control of the puck as it settles in behind the end line. Little tap pass successful. Pushing ahead was Ben Skutnik. Now it's into the GSB zone and broken out. 
Solid little move by Porter Clark. He has it. He tries to move through two defenders and was walled off. That one popped under the skates of the referee on the far side. Shot right in. Blocker it away. Remember, another shot right up into the face mask uh, for Gale. He stood tall early from an onslaught by GSB. Pushes over to the side of the net on a pass that was incomplete. And it rolls down to the other end of the ice. What down is it? And will not be an icing. Well, it's the first period, so I'd imagine it'd be first down. <laughs> I thought he was about to, I thought he just ignored me for a second. He never reached fourth down in hockey. No. Crossing through the neutral zone. Rolling in along the end line with the puck. That was number 18, Ryan Van Zyl. And that opportunity just out of his grasp. Puck will flutter to center. And a miscommunication on the drop pass. Forces Roxbury to regather. Saucer full of milk and flown into the GSB zone. Sticked away. We may by not get Jansen. To, we may not get to fourth down in hockey, but for golly, he still wants to kick. Apparently. And he'll kick those pucks away. That's how he'll do it. Kick saving a beauty. Every goalie's best friend. Under seven to go in the first. Pass up to center. Button hooking and moving through the zone. Shot wide of the net. Oh, no. It almost bounced in off the back of Jansen. Scary there as he took his small frame a little further out of the net. Cross ice pass intercepted. Will be slammed in the direction of Jansen. And he eats that puck alive. I want to thank Gil St. Bernard's again. Burners. Great, great school to further your child's education. Top private school in Gladstone, middle states accredited. I'm believing that the world is their classroom. It's okay, Reed, because it's not the first. Ow. That yeah. didn't look good. Yeah, that was a right. crunch into the end boards. With a leg twisted up underneath Tyler Peterson, but he gets up, skates away all right. But they, it's a lot of people say Gil St. Bernard's the first few times, too. Picked up and crossing the blue line with a flurry of moves, then firing a fluttering puck that just missed the blocker of Jansen. That was all done by Man by Ber Mancuso. Yep. And another great save by Jansen. Up to the blue line. Now back down low, Mancuso giving go, shot is blocked away. Forcing it lower was Gat Griffin Warsaw. Now he gets it right into the middle of the slot and another missed opportunity by Mancuso. He's buzzing around that net right now. He's got to try to get their, got to try to be a little bit more pressure on the puck carrier. They Indirect off the boards, trying to run it down as Brad Matthews. He loses that race. Oxbury comes back the other way, gets it out of the zone. It's loose at center ice, now controlled, and an intercept. And here comes Tramontano, and he rings top iron and scores. Oh. Julian Tramontano gives as good as GSB gets. Their goal was given up on a sloppy turnover, and Tramontano turns it around and does the same to Roxbury. It was a good read by Tramontano, just picking that puck off. Read that pass beautifully read, like a book and rang it off of the crossbar and in. It happened so quickly for Gale, barely moved out of the net. And now it's another opportunity for GSB to put on some offensive pressure. So two unassisted goals. Yes. Yep. Rolling low is Henry Smith. <clears throat> He's got it again. Pushes it behind the net to Tramontano. All the way up top. Shot back in by Clark. Over the net. Bounced down low. Forcing it around to Trace Sanford. Now a reversal. Smith goes in hard. Uses his height advantage. To try to get in on the puck. Into the slot for Tramontano. He's bullied from behind, and then the shot goes in the direction of Fergali, but misses the net. Shot deflected off a stick, I believe. Tramontano may have gotten another. It's either Tramontano or Sanford. Somebody lifted their leg in front and got a stick on it. 
I don't think they got a stick on it. I think... No, nope, they... that definitely hit something. It's tough to tell just because... I don't know if it hit the leg, but it might have just caused the goalkeeper to move a little bit. We'll see who they credit it to. It hit something in front because you could yeah. hear it. It's a 2-1 to one GSB lead. They've come back from a 1-0 deficit. Fired out in front. And into a collection of bodies, then blocked away. Running to get it, Steven Ellison. He loses control. Goal scored by number 21, Sanford. That one's passed through, and it will go to Trey Sanford. Yeah, that's why I thought Smith the assist. With an assist to Smith. I thought the player in front didn't get a touch on the puck, but just threw off for Gali and Net. Yeah. That I think that did go down and then back up through him. Try to force it low. No one was there except for a Roxbury defender oh. who loses control, sort of rethought the pass. That was a miscalculation by Woodenberg. Smith in with it, tried to put it out in front. Bounced off the post. Now it's up top, and a shot blocked down by Fergale. Back up top, Smith fires it back in, and it bounces off one of his own men, and then off the net for a stoppage with 3.12 to go. What a response, though, by Gill. They went down one nothing after their turnover. They have responded quite well in a game which their season is on the line. A chance to get into the cup, and if you're a coach, that is exactly the response you wanted to see. Face off, sort of a wash. Oh, falling to the ice was Laternus. And then another edge is blown, and here come the Gales. It's a two on one with a pass across, and it just got to the toe of the stick of Hardy. And then another opportunity turned wide. Battle for it in the corner. Whoa, whoa. Bounces along the side of the net. Nobody knew where it was. That took a strange hop off a of stanchion there. And it'll roll out up top. Forcing it back into the zone. Ben Skutnik is on it. That bounce was a classic men in moment. Skutnik now off the circle, lifts one high, it'll fall in the corner. Chopped down as the wraparound attempt was made, and then a pass into the slot for Skutnik, and he just pushed it wide. Skutnik floating low, now he'll pop back up as the kick tried to almost work, and now it's a one on four. Roxbury quickly turns away that opportunity. Dumped low. Porter Clark eyeing through the fishbowl, enters the offensive zone. A saucer pass with not enough on it to get it into the slot. And... Penalty, I think. There is a penalty coming up. Is there? I think Porter Clark is still down. Yeah, there's a player down here on the left. On the boards just to the left. Might not be a penalty then of the Zamboni doors. Clark came into the zone and tried to lift the pass into the slot. He's now up and slowly making his way over to the bench, waving off the athletic trainer here this evening. Grabbing sort of at his thigh, upper left leg. I yeah, was able to climb over the boards. So he'll take a seat as the faceoff pushed ahead by Roxbury. Rolling into the zone and popping one off a skate. And then into the corner where GSB can swarm. Take it away, pushing it up to center. Stopped inside the faceoff dot and pounded off the glass inside the GSB bench. So that will lead to another whistle. Uh oh What are you saying uh-oh about? I think my, uh, I think my GoPro might have gotten pulled off. 
hanging on by a thread down there. I see it. Uh, you, that's not the GoPro. That's the transmitter. As this one is transmitted towards the back of the glass. It's okay. And GSB will maintain control under two minutes to go. Popping out in front of the net. Puck trickles back towards the end line. Reverse below. This is the and last it'll pass out to Henry Smith. Smith fires one on net, blockered away. Smith has spent a lot of time in that corner. His stick is being held up by the body, so he has no recourse with which to play the puck. Now he tries to get back into the fray. Reversed. Good play made, and a lofting pass avoids the drop ceiling, and it's done perfectly to the stick and into the glove of Luke Jansen. Dan Castellano had a breakaway opportunity and had it sort of roll away from him with 35 and a half to go. Um. Oh, that's why. Puck rolled up to the blue line, deflected off of Smith's skate, fired right on, and Jansen will settle on it. There we go. All systems operational? Uh, yeah, I just had the guys, I had the teams on the wrong side. Ah. Roxbury was the home team, which is weird because their fans are on this side. Well, they needed the Zamboni doors for the uh, senior night pictures. That balloon arch was two doors wide. Passed up through Smith. And now back up in front of the scorer's table. Redirected and taken on the run by Trey Sanford. Sanford fires one in. It's sticked aside, short of the net. It's going to fall down for one more opportunity, and that will do it for the first period. An interesting first period of play. Roxbury jumped up early with a score from Gavin Woodenberg, and then two tallies from GSB from Tramontano and Sanford. Give them the 2-1 advantage as we head into the five-minute first intermission. We'll step aside here on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Come right back for the second period of action. Helping him with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. Club Loan Officer Mitch Vandalinda of Loan Depot is your go-to person for home loans, whether it's a new home mortgage or refinance of your current home. And she specializes in renovations for those who want to add on and fix up. Because of her extensive knowledge of loan programs, problem-solving skills, and steadfast commitment to customer service, Midge ensures that each borrower receives superior guidance as they pursue one of the most personal investments of their lifetime. Reach out to her today at 973-202-0992 or mvandalinda at loandepot.com. siding come home to craftsmanship if you're even considering roofing solar siding windows doors gutters blue nail roofing and siding is a local family business with the best customer reviews in this part of america that you can truly trust when the team at blue nail roofing and siding does a job it will be done right count on it start the conversation now about your next project visit bluenailnj.com for a complimentary consultation blue nail roofing and siding come home to craftsmanship Maximum Health Physical Therapy in Bud Lake and Long Valley focuses on putting patient care back into health care and physical therapy. And they're the only provider in Western Morris County of ArpWave Neurotherapy. ArpWave has been used by many NFL, NBA, NHL, MLM, PGA, MLS, and top Olympic athletes to help improve performance, speed up recovery, and can excel your ability to get back to your sport and make you less prone to injury. Visit MaximumHealthPT.com. For all of 
the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. Stop by Anthony Franco's of Sparta and Roxbury after the game where we believe that quality and satisfaction go hand in hand. We take great care to author authentic New York style pizza as well as many classic and modern Italian dishes without compromising on cost or relying on ingredients that are frozen or preserved. Our ingredients come from Wisconsin's finest dairies. We order pasta made weekly at one of Brooklyn's oldest pasta houses and coordinate daily deliveries of the best fresh meat and produce from the Hunts Point Market in the Bronx. I'm not sure if you know about this, but there are heat pump systems that can actually heat your entire home by simply using the air outside. A heat pump is an energy efficient alternative to traditional heating systems. Back here for the third period at Men in Ice Arena, the Gil St. Bernard's Knights up 2-1 to one over Roxbury. Two unanswered goals in that first period for GSB. And Charlie... I'm going to turn it to you for what they've done so well thus far. I think what they've done well so far is just taking advantage of the chances that they've gotten where they're kind of playing in Roxbury's zone for a lot and give them credit for coming back after that bad turnover that resulted in the Roxbury goal. They force a turnover themselves. They score the goal then to make it 2-1 when your season's on the line. Credit to them and credit to this coaching staff for the way that they've coached this team. And Sean, over to you for the Roxbury side. After scoring that early goal, how do they turn it back around and avoid the disappointment of a loss on a senior night? Just be smarter in the off just be smarter in your own zone. Don't don't turn it over. Don't turn it over just past your blue line in the neutral zone. Just be smart. Move the puck keep playing your game you're better you're a better team but if you don't play like it the other team is going to, the other team is going to beat you Roxbury with some early offensive zone time here a three on two battle low won by GSB they curl around to the near side up top shot straight on and blocked away before Fergali could get a stick on it now another one into the high slot, popped up off the blocker of Fergali, and he kept it out of the net. Now it's back up to Porter Clark, and he trickles one in. Porter Clark slipped one through the wickets of Fergali. And it's a third goal for GSB. That one was deflected in front. Looks like Scarpati might have yeah. got a tip. Let's take a look. The way that he's celebrating, he knows he got something on it. That's yeah. why I got yeah. there for Gali. So 3-1. And that's two goals now where they've had someone in front of the net taking a shot from the point and beaten for Gali through the five-hole area. For is a big body, but any puck that gets deflected can really change the angle. This one pushed out in front of the slot. Roxbury's going to indirect it off the bench boards and just wide of the net for an icing. Doesn't look like any of the Park Regional players would ever stayed, but I'm sure wherever they are, the hearts are starting to race a little bit. Watching GSB leading 3-1. There's plenty of time for Oxbury to come back. We know how good of a team they are, so hopefully they 
if you're uh, looking at from a park regional perspective, you're going to get some help soon. Porter Clark flips it low. Seven and two. Tramontano gets an assist as well. So our first full stat sheet on a goal this evening. Tramontano now has two points with a goal and an assist. This high puck settled down. Moving into the zone was Mancuso. That one's thrown back down to the Gill St. Bernard's end. There you go. And getting pulled down with no call was Trey Sanford. Pass across. Open and now Roxbury forcing it low. It's in the middle in the high slot and firing it wide was Ben Skutnik. Skutnik now holding his position up by the faceoff dot as the battle ensues down low. Two on two, it's pressed up against the wall. No official call just yet. Now they blow it right as it popped out. And that'll force a faceoff with 12.26 to go in this now 3-1 game. GSB defending to the left. Roxbury holding court to the right. Back up to the top of the shot, blocked down in front. The rebound, oh, ho, ho, what a save by Luke Jansen. Power push from right to left to get in front of the rebound. 12.19 to go. Rua send this one in. Kicked off of Clark and Luke got over there just in time. They go D to D with an indirect pass behind the net. That's broken up off the stick of Dan Castellano. Now taking the time and space to move through center is Scarpati. It's pushed in behind the end line. Scarpati gives chase. Roxbury moving it to the near side. Tried to go indirect off the boards. This one thrown down back on Fergale. He's going to leave it. Moving up towards center ice. It's Roxbury. They get it into the offensive zone. Now the indirect off the corner. Trying to tap it forward with one hand was Tramontano. He couldn't do it. That one blockered away behind the net. Puck is right on the backside of the cage, and GSB will slip away with it. Porter Clark into the free space in the zone, rips one on, blockered away. Flowing up the near side. Castellano takes on contact, move the puck forward. Binder will pick it up, try to work it along the far wall as Roxbury gets fresh bodies out there. That puck just missed crossing the blue line by a fraction of an inch. And now it's held in front of the Zamboni doors, rolling off the wall into the high slot with a shot that was deflected and corralled by Jansen. And that was Jake Kalani who had another opportunity. Kalani slightly misfired on now two shots in this contest. 10.38 to go. Shot 17 to 14 in favor of GSB. Puck is dropped for an immediate shot off the faceoff, and Van Zyl found the glove side of Luke Jansen, but not the back of the net. Talk about a goalie having a good game. Jansen has been making some good saves. Keep this game 3-1 right now. GSB almost got out of the zone by winning that faceoff. Now it's a turnover back onto the stick of Roxbury. Nice slide behind the net, but losing his footing was Van Zyl. I like this response from Roxbury after going down 3-1. They're holding the puck in the offensive zone and putting some pressure on GSB. But very little to show for it in terms of quality shot opportunities. There's a trade of puck on the far side between the wing and the D. 
now controlled and forced out by Brad Matthews. Just got it out to center. Red line not gained, but forced towards the stick of Tyler, of rather Griffin Warsaw. So that negates the icing. And now an even rush for Roxbury, blowing into the offensive zone. Some good contact, fans want interference, none called. A hit given out in retaliation in the corner. Forced up to the near wall and out of the, out of play, it'll bounce near the penalty box. So, oh, the official will pick up a new puck. And a young fan will retrieve the one that went wayward. 9.27 to go in the second period. Puck is dropped. GSB wins it. A little extra ZZ top for the assembled masses as it's rolled up the far side onto the stick of Tramontano. Tramontano forces it in behind the net. Still chasing after it as he goes all around the world and then takes on some contact. Roxbury forces the turnover, gets it out of the zone. GSB will have to tag up. Trying to go behind the net for Tremontano. It's successful. He rolls up and cycles it low. Now this will fly up to the blue line where it's forced towards the faceoff dot. GSB starting to control some zone time. They get it deep. In behind the net. Pass is almost intercepted by Smith. Now he does have it, puts it out in the slot. And that opportunity evaporated quickly. Tramontano, cross ice. Now back up through center behind the charging forward. And that one gets pushed wide of Jansen. Settling it low and pushing it up through mid-ice is Scarpati. Now he'll double back with it. He'll go D to D. And Porter Clark, who's back on the ice after his injury, will get it up to Tramontano. Tramontano tried to get it in the direction of Scarpati. Could not. And the shot is wide of the net as Roxbury tried to take advantage of the turnover. 7.40 to go. In the second, pushing out of the zone is GSB. Tramontano finding space. Tried to lace one on net, and it's blocked away off the stick of Fregale. It's out in front of the net. They now put it behind the net, and it's a turnover. Cycling low, Porter Clark activating as the defenseman. Lost it right behind Fregale. Roxbury controls and will lift it all the way down to the other end of the ice for an icing with 7.07 to go. Well, offensive opportunity here now for GSB. They've had the puck in the other side for a while. The first game that we had this evening was all one-sided. In fact, it only lasted two periods. The second one, there was a little bit of a balancing act, although I would think that BSM won the majority of the opportunities. This one has been just about dead even, yep. except on the scoreboard, which is three to one. Slapper doesn't get past the faceoff dot. That got kicked so far, it went all the way back. Powerful slap shot turned aside, and then Fergale tried to push it up. Trying to pick up an assist for himself. This one popped right out into the slot. Jansen was there early and positioned perfectly. Very nice. That one lofted through to the back door. Nobody was home. Shot straight on. Strong save off a blocker. And now Roxbury buzzing again. Dropping it to the wing on the left side. Rolling it back up top. Option to go D to D deferred. Puck hits a rut in the ice. And now GSB is swarming and trying to force a turnover. They cannot. It cycles low. Cross ice pass off the boards. Instead of stepping into the slap shot, they'll try to roll it low and cycle again. In behind the net, rolling it out. 
That's Kalani. Kalani across the ice. Working it now low again. Trying to set up is Van Zyl. He's hit. Out number two to one. We'll get some late help from Kalani, and the puck will roll out of the zone as Ellison was unable to hold zone. Cam Guerra will put it back to the near side. Now it's onto the stick of Kalani. And away comes GSB. Shot up off the glove. And that was on the shot by Scarpati. And Fergali was able to turn it away with a glove save. Indirect pass off the boards. Onto the stick of Kalani. He couldn't get to it. It stays onside. Guerra tried to make a move. Could not. And back the other way comes Tramontano. One on three for Tramontano. He fires one off the pad of Fergali, who was down low early. The puck still loose in the offensive zone. Tramontano back on it. Goes up top to the D-man. That was almost intercepted. Forcing it now low. And getting a whistle is Trey Sanford as Fergali has hold of the puck. You know what else we've seen in our triple header? Back-to-back -back games now with some goalkeeper clinics. First, Bill Shankman with the BSM team making 31 big saves. And right now it is 17 big saves for Jansen to keep his side in the lead. Roxbury escapes the zone momentarily. Putting the pressure right back on his GSB. This is George Taylor on the puck for the first time. Puck is rotated low, back and forth behind the net. Forced up to the far side. And they try to loft it out to center where it's soccer kicked by Clark. Pulled down and pushed into the offensive zone by Skutnik. Skutnik working in concert with Sean Hardy and that one goes up and over the Zamboni doors for a stoppage with under four minutes to go in the second. Scott Nick settles in. He'll take the face off. Sort of a tie up and then forced forward where Scott Nick jumps on it, rolls it back up to the blue line, shot through traffic, not working. Now another wrister trickles off a couple of sticks and is pulled down on the left wing. Puck escapes into some free ice in the corner, chasing it down to Sanford. Now it pops behind the net and a crunch put on there. Two on two battle behind the net. And there's a Knight left behind the play after a rough hit. That's the second one on Porter Clark. Clark now jumping back into defensive positioning, laying a big hit in the corner. And this one will be lofted out to center. That was a bit of a revenge hit yep. after getting laid onto the ice. A receipt. Say, so, hey, I have the receipt. Here you go. I need, to make it to you. I need to make a return. All these, all of those passes missed their intended receivers, and so now there'll be a GSB cycle behind their own net. Two on two battle once again. Puck pushed up against the yellow dasher. Nice play. Pulled out and lifted out to center. Slowly watching it move near him was for Gale, but it ended up not touching him. So we'll be an icing with two and a half. Clean game so far. Both teams with good chances on both sides. We've had just the one penalty that was to GSB's benefit, and they were unable to take advantage. Zone is held. Puck did not cross the line of demarcation, nor did it there. Thrown towards the net, and it almost trickled underneath Jansen. He picked that left leg up a little early, but was able to slam it right back down to the frozen water surface to get another offensive zone faceoff for Roxbury.
working it behind the net was Binder. Now it's forced up the near side wall and free to the stick of Tramontano. Tramontano forces one through off the pad of Fregale. And now free on the far oh. side wing and going down to the ice with Scarpati. No call. That one in on Fregale and the rebound attempt was right there, but mishandled. Regale hadn't quite gotten back over yet. Tried to go with the backhand. Probably should have just gone with the forehand to tuck it home. Loose out to center ice. Chase being made by Skaragi. Couldn't get it. Rotated low. Here comes Tramontano on the puck again. Gives it up Smith. Smith indirect to himself. Now trying to get it back to Tramontano who gives it up to Scarpati. Scarpati drop pass for Tramontano. Pulls it towards himself, now pushes it back up top for the shot, and it's wide of the blocker as we drop under a minute to go in the second. Skaragi tried to force it up to the blue line, could not. Now Porter Clark making moves. Forcing it in around the net, he's walled off by Kalani, who takes a hack at the puck to leave it for his defenseman. Up through Kalani, trying to run it down and a wave off the icing successfully done by Cam Guerra. Now it's a turnover. Kalani gloves it down to himself. Trying to fight it away from Tramontano, could not. Guerra behind. Now it's tried to force it into Kalani and he had an opportunity but it just missed his stick. Guerra at the point, off a skate. Tramontano with the block. Rolled down low, Kalani had a stick lifted, no call. Kalani rolling in, dropping it back, now he gets it back. Tries to go up top, big shot coming at the end of the period. And the last shot from Wudenberg was blocked out in front. Roxbury will head into the final intermission. Down two, a three to one score. GSB trying to pull off a huge win and an upset in the Haas division. We'll step aside and be back for the third period after this on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. ...by up to 60%. And here at Integrate Comfort Systems, we are proud to offer a $2,000 cashback on heat pump installation. If you're interested in learning more about our fantastic offer for heat pump installation, call us today, click below, and visit our website to schedule your free consultation. At Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver, and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quarter service question at 973-377-1915. George J. Keller and Sons want your house to be the kind of home for all to see. Best roofing, windows, siding too. Great solar and gutters, we're here for you. Our seasoned pros are unsurpassed, so give a call, we'll take your task. Transform your home, that's what we do. So give a call, we're here for you. For roofing, siding, windows and solar, we do it all for you. George J. Keller and Sons. Your family owned operation since 1980. Call for your free estimate. I actually used to be deathly afraid of public speaking. I intentionally became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line though, WIS supports my passions. I truly believe that WIS wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS.
Morris Sussex Sports has a big goal we want to ask your help in achieving. One of the most popular things we do is publish digital trading cards of athletes. We feel strongly that high school athletes are one of the most important parts of our community, and the trading cards allow us to recognize and celebrate as many athletes as possible. So we have a lofty mission to create a trading card for every single athlete that wears a sports jersey in the Morris Sussex area. But to do that, we need more local businesses that want to help us by sponsoring these trading cards. This is a great way for a business to endear themselves to the communities they do business in. And not only would their business be featured prominently as a sponsor of a new scholar athlete every week, we also advertise them across our social media, our website, and our game broadcasts. And we get over 4 million views a week, 80% of whom are adults 35 to 65. There is no other publication or media company that has even close to that reach in this region. So if you know of a local business that loves to support the scholar athletes in their town or their surrounding area and would benefit from the exposure we would bring, please send them our way. Just call or text 973-713-5944 or email george at morrissussexsports.com. Choosing a college is a big, big, big deal. But I know I started right because CCM is in the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you. Jen Basilino of the Kosher Real Estate Group, LLC, is a Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million-dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202-2103. WISC gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WISC Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast it's worth the wait. Montella Inc. is a family-owned dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt, quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers, whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232.
Is it time for you to replace your roof? Well, give Hadco Builders in Chester, New Jersey a call. They've built an amazing reputation over the past 30 years as one of New Jersey's top builders. Hadco will replace your roof the right way at a super fair price and usually get the job done by the time you come home from work. Call or text Tony to get a quote today at 973-818-8516 or visit them at hadcobuilders.com. Hi, my name is Edward Capozzi, and I'm the chair of the Brock Eichler Personal Injury Department in Roseland, New Jersey. When I was asked to sponsor the KJS ice hockey team, I said, what a great fit, because not only am I from an ice hockey family, but I'm also living in Kinalong. My son plays goalie for Jefferson Middle School, and I've lived in Sparta. So I'm very familiar with the community and many of the people who are involved in the youth hockey sports. So if you're injured in an auto accident, an elevator crash, a trucking accident, a slip and fall, please give me a call, and I will take very good care of you. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Do your glory days as a high school athlete feel far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry. The team at Better With Physical Therapy's one-on-one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. You can get better with better with physical therapy located in the madison ymca request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com hi i'm rob guswell as the branch manager of our persipony location for north point bank I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. Club Loan Officer Mitch Vandalinda of Loan Depot is your go-to person for home loans, whether it's a new home mortgage or a refinance of your current home, and she specializes in renovations for those who want to add on and fix up. Because of her extensive knowledge of loan programs, problem-solving skills, and steadfast commitment to customer service, Midge ensures that each borrower receives superior guidance as they pursue one of the most personal investments of their lifetime. Reach out to her today at 973-202-0992 or mvandalinda at loandepot.com. siding come home to craftsmanship if you're even considering roofing solar siding windows doors gutters blue nail roofing and siding is a local family business with the best customer reviews in this part of america that you can truly trust when the team at blue nail roofing and siding does a job it will be done right count on it start the conversation now about your next project visit bluenailnj.com for a complimentary consultation blue nail roofing and siding come home to craftsmanship 
Maximum Health Physical Therapy in Bud Lake and Long Valley focuses on putting patient care back into health care and physical therapy. And they're the only provider in Western Morris County of ArpWave Neurotherapy. ArpWave has been used by many NFL, NBA, NHL, MLM, PGA, MLS, and top Olympic athletes to help improve performance, speed up recovery, and can excel your ability to get back to your sport and make you less prone to injury. Visit MaximumHealthPT.com. working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. Stop by Anthony Franco's of Sparta and Roxbury after the game where we believe that quality and satisfaction go hand in hand. We take great care to author authentic New York style pizza as well as many classic and modern Italian dishes without compromising on cost or relying on ingredients that are frozen or preserved. Our ingredients come from Wisconsin's finest dairies. We order pasta made weekly at one of Brooklyn's oldest pasta houses and coordinate daily deliveries of the best fresh meat and produce from the Hunts Point Market in the Bronx. I'm not sure if you know about this, but there are heat pump systems that can actually heat your entire home by simply using the air outside. A heat pump is an energy efficient alternative to traditional heating systems. This can lower your energy costs by up to 60%. And here at Integrate Comfort Systems, we are proud to offer a $2,000 cash back on heat pump installation. If you're interested in learning more about our fantastic offer for heat pump installation, call us today, click below, and visit our website to schedule your free consultation. At Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver, and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quarter service question at 973-377-1915. Fifteen minutes for the Roxbury Gales to turn around their senior night as they trail GSB three to one. Welcome back inside Men in Arena. Reedy Keller, Charlie Brooks, Sean Bretherick here with you. Gil St. Bernard's three unanswered goals to take this three to one lead. Holding a marginal advantage in shot total, 23 to 21. Before we get the third period underway, we want to thank the Roxbury Boosters. And give a shout out to GSB as well. A great school to further your child's education. They're a top private school in Gladstone, Middle States accredited, and believe that the world is their classroom. And they've certainly taught Roxbury a thing or two about overlooking a team. You know, usually in high school sports, you want to uh, you want to schedule a team that you can beat on your senior night and I think that's what Roxbury thought coming in and all of a sudden they trail it three to one and that's why they made the switch and net to go back to Mikey Guadagnino. 
Yup, Guadagnino is in net for the third period, trying to keep his team in this game. A wow. game that GSB has to win to keep their season alive, and they're playing like it. But now let's see how they change things up with Gu Guadagnino in net. This is interesting. A game that doesn't mean a whole lot, and I'm assuming this is just his way for Guadagnino just to get out there and just make sure everything feels good for him to play in Haas playoffs at this rate. Because Roxbury does not need this game. They already got I, the 2 3 sealed up. Pass went well, through into the offensive zone for GSB. So this could be the first time we see Guadagnino tested. Tremontano trying to make moves. He's on his backhand, couldn't get it to his forehand. So he pushes it in below the net. You got to think about, you got to think that this has got to be a power points thing. Roxbury's in 11th. There's the first save for him. Good save, right on it, stick to side. But Roxbury is in 11th, but only about 31 points behind in front of the team that's in last right now, the 16th seed, which is Westmore Central. The team that they're going to play. Racing into the zone was Kalani. <clears throat> Had it roll off his stick. Tramontano trying to work it out from behind the net. Pushes it up to the far side. Now follows his pass and still can't get it out of the zone. And taking off the other way now with it was Scarpati. He fired it wide. Henry Smith jumps in on it. Now has to double back. Chases in behind the net. Almost wins the battle. Now forces it back out the side in which he entered. Goes skittering into the corner. And Roxbury able to break out. Cross ice pass picked up. Here comes Guerra and he's forced off. Now shoots it high and it just misses the net. And will stay in play. Forced down low. GSB will pick it up on the half wall, force it up to the blue line, and get out of the zone on skate. Moving with it, Adam Latournis. Pops off the end wall. Roxbury breaks out on the, far, on the near side, rather, with space. Here comes Skutnik. Skutnik forcing it ahead to Hardy. Skutnik now trying to set up the trap. GSB will double back. Work out in front of the net. Goes through Skutnik towards Guadagnino, and he lets it pass him for an icing with 12.34 to go. I think he might be on something, Sean, with the PowerPoint reasoning for Guadagnino, but I think it's also, as you mentioned, trying to just get back on the ice before that matchup with Lesmore Central. Get some minutes under his legs again, and... I keep mean, his team in this. I mean, the win wouldn't get him a whole bunch. I mean, you're talking probably six plus four. Well, actually, no, it's probably six plus one or two, actually, because of the size. Probably, so you're probably looking at seven and then 12. So you're looking at probably like 16 points or something along those lines. Not a whole that lot. Not a whole lot. You're going to get out of the win here, but. Well, the best the best news so far is that Guadagnino is moving well enough after his lower body injury suffered in the last contest. Oh, the game before or last. Or the game before last. We have, you're right. This one's pushed low. GSB sort of stuck in neutral now, unable to get it out of their zone. Big check laid in the corner by Binder. And now it's out free in the high slot and pushed behind the net. Indirect out of the zone. So Roxbury will at least have to tag up. Puck still held in the neutral zone. They're going to push it back to time and space. Cross ice pass. Tape to tape. Slap shot wide of the net. Had a little bit of an opening there that closed quickly. That was off Warsaw stick. Now it's flicked back down behind the net. Jansen lets it go in favor of Binder. Binder turnover in the gray zone. Roxbury unable to do anything with it. A stick goes flying. 
Now GSB comes back the other way. Almost a carbon copy of how Roxbury got their first goal, but luckily this time GSB was able to respond and get rid of the danger. Porter Clark rang one off a stanchion trying to get it deep. This score holds Roxbury. This would be a three-pointer, or yeah, a three-pointer, which would be immediately ruled out. Oh boy, turnover in the high slot, fired wide of Guadagnino. And numbers down low in front, nothing, no shot, no passing there. Porter Clark back on defense, that's another one off a of stanchion that goes right in on Jansen and he's able to corral it to settle things down with 10-10 remaining. GSB being in the non-public, it's not as big of a deal because everybody makes it through, but I think they're probably near, yeah, they're near, they're actually next to last in the in that. If they were to win this, bumped them up a pretty decent amount, like actually might get them into the teens actually. They have a three on two developing, sort of wished itself away. Going all the way around the world and then dropping it low and a little annoyed by that result was Scarpati, so he takes it back, directs it for Clark. Clark trickles in front of the net. It almost rolled off his stick and in. And now he's under pressure. So he pulls it out, settles, and tries to tap it forward. It's another lazy pass. And the Gales have possession. Pass into the slot. Intended for Guerra. Couldn't get a stick on it. Off a of skate, trying to pass it out from the corner to the slot. Now Tramontano. Tramontano turning away from the pressure, just sort of holding it behind the net. GSB is in their own zone, but they can afford to wind the time down and down and down as they have the two goal lead. Nine minutes to go in this final third period. Racing in the zone with space. Having his shot blocked away was Van Zyl. He's still on it, but loses possession in the corner. GSB pushing it up towards the blue line. Zone is held. They roll it low. Now it's pushed up to Guerra, who's got space. He tries to wrist one in there, and it's blocked. Another block shot. A lot of block shots from GSB. Getting in front and helping their goalie out as that one slammed down in moderate frustration for an icing. A lot of pressure now on GSB1 to hold on to this lead. You need to hold off a good Roxbury offense that has come out with some good chances so far in the third, but I've liked what GSB has done defensively blocking shots. That shot was also blocked. Roxbury trying to get something going and skating out of the zone with it is Brad Matthews. Matthews runs into some trouble. Still trying to kick the puck further into the zone. Instead it rolls towards the high slot and out. And going the other way is Hardy. Tried to fire one in, it was blocked away. Held on the side of the net by Jansen. And that'll force an offensive zone faceoff with under eight to go. Every stoppage just looking over Guadagnino is just skating around his crease. Yep. Making sure he can go side to side. It's a good chance time for all that, but watch out. One on one developing and having the puck roll too far away was Tramontano, so he'll have to set up for offensive pressure. Pass right in front. Guadagnino right there to make the save all alone. He looks okay. Big yeah. save there to keep this a two goal deficit as GSB was cooking once again. Henry Smith forced on, has the puck bounced away from him. Roxbury trying to get it out of the zone, and they will with a little touch pass. Out to the red line, where it's held there by the Knights. Racing ahead, Porter Clark. Pulls up, flips the hips. Tries to drop it back for Tramontano. Now into the high slot intended for Smith, and it doesn't work. One on two for Roxbury. Pushed in behind the net. GSB racing away with it. Tramontano skating to the outside space. Fires it up into Guadagnino, who drops it. 
after the whistle. No, not too bad there. Guadagnino was right on it. Got caught right up around his thigh, but was able to squeeze the... Oh, he looks just fine. Squeeze the puck together. He looks just fine. This is lofted out to center ice, and it will go for an icing. And that is exactly what you want to see if you are a Roxbury fan. Even if this game may not be going the way you want, getting Guadagnino back in net and seeing him move around like this, that's a positive to take away, especially heading into a matchup with a tough Westmore Central team, which are right in that thick of things at the top and have been this whole season. It's not going to be an easy game, but Guadagnino definitely gives you a chance. Tramontano has it, makes a move through one man. It's a three-on-one slowly developing. Tramontano saw it late, couldn't make the pass. Now he has it in behind the net, rolling up to the high slot, firing at center mass on Guadagnino with Scarpati. We'll get another stop. GSB almost had another big chance at three-on-one, but Tramontano just couldn't get the puck off of his stick in time, needed to pass that one set of a teammate, but 6.18 left, they're still holding on to that two goal lead. That's all they have to do right now. You don't need to make it 4-1. Priority is just to keep this two goal lead currently. They get it to Matthews, who's uncovered off the faceoff. He quickly runs into defensive pressure. Here comes Kalani, full head of steam, wow. cuts an edge, and falls again. Jake Kalani got a little bit ahead of things. Now the puck rolls in behind the net. Pushed up towards the blue line. By the way, Gavin Wudenberg. Oh, man. Wow. That's a penalty. Ooh, Absolutely. Boy. That should, that's, that's a bad be a penalty five right there. At least. Caught with his head down, now popping back up to his feet was yeah, Bender. I was worried for a second. He was just laying on the ice. I don't know if I got that or not. I don't think so. I was going to say that uh, Wudenberg is headed off to the locker room. Not quite sure what happened. Oh, head contact. He's, that's it. He's gesticulating. Head contact. That's it for him. To the crowd. So... That's a two? I didn't even know you could do. I didn't even know that you could have a two-minute pe penalty for that. How's that a two-minute penalty? They're saying that it's just a regular hard hit because he had the puck. Well, Roxbury bench is incensed. Minor penalty. Still trying to figure out why Wudenberg is on this side of the ice next to the penalty box. I don't know. Might be needing to get something. I'm trying to figure out how head contact can only be a two-minute minor penalty. I don't think he can be. I didn't think it I was. think they're saying that it wasn't head contact, that it was just the... No, the, they said no, it was head contact. Two-minute minor for head contact. That's what they said. The shot is up and above Guadagnino. He's there for the rebound as well. You know, it looked like it was shoulder to shoulder for me, but I thought they were stopping the play. And then all of a sudden, and then all of a sudden, uh, the referee's arm goes up on the near side. Second. That is, is it just, that looked like a penalty from the result of the play and not from what you saw it. Ben Bo has got, oh, offsides apparently. Second GSP power play. Wudenberg actually is either cramping or needed some treatment. He's getting his right leg worked on. So they're without their own, Roxbury's without their only goal scorer on tonight's contest. GSP will work it back before setting up their power play breakout. I think Coach Benbo has a honest gripe with that call. As bad as it looked. Forcing it into the zone in the direction of Latornis. 
Now trying to regain possession is Sanford, and it'll get lifted out to center ice. Kalani's on it, and he gets it taken away from him by Porter Clark. Clark runs through a stick. And a penalty coming up against Roxbury. That'll be a tripping penalty. Wow. Slash is the call, actually. Oh, slash. Because I was saying, that can't be a trip. I didn't see a trip. So this will be the first five on three. And Van Zyl, too. That we've seen. Van Zyl will take a seat for two. All told, 224. And what this is doing is just making things a lot easier for Gil St. Bernard's. Yep. There's two. only going to be 212 left when this second penalty expires. Total 224 of five on, well, 12 seconds of five on three, and then because of the only two minutes for head contact, Roxbury will get it back to a five on four. Porter Clark sets up and fires it, and it's blocked away. Where is a smart play to wait to leave the box, but now the pass is offside. The Roxbury fans were urging Cam to get up and get out of the box, but he knew what he was doing. He was just waiting for the puck to get up towards him. Three thirty-five to go. One twenty-four on the penalty. Back to five on four. Definitely not ideal either to be missing your only goal scorer in the who's world. Still being treated. <laughs> I can't believe they dropped the puck with, with where Scarpati was. He was on the other side of the line. Yeesh. Puck in possession of GSB. A lazy drop pass, and jumping it is Hardy. Now in on it. Has it just trickle away from him. And GSB comes back out the other way. Three on three developing. Shot scooped up by Guadagnino. Yeah, I think he's feeling just fine with 3.04 to go. This has been quite an interesting third period with everything that's gone on. Two minutes for head contact, dropping a, a face off with a player on the other side. It's getting quirky. Puck rolls back up to Clark. Fires it and Kalani stick blocks it. Hits off the top of the glass behind the net. Under three minutes to go in the third. Too much chopping of the wood by Scarpati as it's forced low. Tramontano trying to work his way through the traffic in the low wall, could not. Now Scarpati has it. Flips it back up to Clark. Back to Scarpati. Over to Clark. Tried to go back to Scarpati. It will get to him, but it's rolling, so he has oh, to force it nice low. Oh, nice play. Cross ice to Scarpati and able to get there in time was Kalani to block it wide. Power play expires. Cherry picking for a hot second was Van Zyl. And now it's in behind the net. Two minutes to go. Roxbury just desperately trying to get it out of the zone so that they can pull their goalie as Kalani tries to make a play for the first time tonight. Could not. Guadagnino not going anywhere with 1.45 to go. Guerra was in on the puck. He has it on the far side. Gets it out to Van Zyl, who tried to go back door instead of firing one. Just looking for Kalani. This one held at the top of the zone. Forced down low. Nobody's there. And now Guadagnino is going to head to the bench as it comes out to center ice. So it'll be six on five for a minute 20 in favor of Roxbury. They've tried to force it through center. Now it'll be controlled. Kalani firing it to the near side. Racing up the dasher wall, taking on contact. Following the puck into the corner, out to the slot. One too many passes made by the Gales, and it trickles out of the zone. The last minute of play in the period, one minute. One minute to go in the third. Van Zyl dumps it in deep. Kalani. Forcing it back behind the net. Tried to put it out in front, could not do it. GSB forces it out of the zone. Here comes Tramontano with 
the icer. Wow. Julian Tramontano is likely going to be our third shirt recipient of the night. Well, he already has one, so we'll be interested to see how we, how we handle that. As he picks up. Might ask him to. Two make. goals and an assist. Yeah. More importantly, GSB are going to the Haas Cup. That all but seals it. They will be the four seed as Those long as our goals. math is correct and they do jump up above Park. And it'll be BSM and GSB. They will meet in the semifinals of the Haas Cup. Tramontano's second unassisted tally of the night. Thrown up through center. He's got it once more. Can he get the hat trick in 20 seconds? But he can pass it across the zone and try to get another helper. Now Roxbury trying to put on the final rush. It's back on the stick of Clark. Clark will skate through center. Marginally unpressured. Fires it on to Mikey Guadagnino, who settles it down with two seconds to go. This will be a face-off drop and then the whistle. GSB will pick up a large win for their postseason hopes and postseason path to a potential cup. Yeah, Puck is dropped. They let it go. And that will do it for the GSB Knights. This was huge for GSB. After that BSM win earlier this afternoon, they knew what they needed to do, and they are swarming their goalkeeper who helped them. A big reason why they won this game, that goaltender right there. Luke Jansen. Jansen might be first star, honestly. He stopped. He's a star, that's just, for sure. He stopped just about everything turned his way. And because it was teed up so nicely, Sean, what do you have for us? Well, it was definitely, it was, I, I think Luke probably gets one of the well, he's going to get one of the stars. I'm actually trying to get my replays to load up. There they are. I got them now. See, sometimes you got to multitask with these things. Here are what I have as the three stars. I got Jansen at three. Okay. John Montano with two and Scarpetti with at least one. He might have had an assist in there, but I have to check the, uh, the scores. I'm going to take care of those score sheets. But those are your three stars brought to you by... The Climate Care LLC, they are family owned and operated and provide installation, repair, and maintenance service to your residential and commercial heating and cooling systems. Contact them at 973-697-6636 or visit climatecarellc.com. It was an action-packed day in the MCSSIHL. We were happy to bring it to you on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. So. For camera and color man Charlie Brooks and a producer and color commentator extraordinaire, the great Sean Bretherick, my name is Reed Keller. We wish you a very pleasant evening. Stay warm for the rest of the weekend, and we'll see you tomorrow on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. wins the face off. They'll roll into their power play setup. Tried to force it into the zone and Fregali had to come across and make a sharp save with the blocker. And then a pass is behind its intended receiver. That was in the direction of Matthews. Now stealing away with his shooting and scoring is Gavin Woodenberg. He stole it off the gray zone turnover. Roxburgh the other way gets it out of the zone. It's loose at center ice. Now controlled and an intercept. And here comes Tramontano, and he rings top iron and scores. Oh. Julian Tramontano gives that the direction of Fergali, but misses the net. Shot deflected off a stick, I believe. Tramontano may have gotten another. It's either Tramontano or Sally, and he kept it out of the net. Now it's back up to Porter Clark, and he trickles one in. Porter Clark. Slipped one through the wickets of Fregali. And it's a... Roxbury holding court to the right. Back up to the top and a shot blocked down in front. The rebound, oh, what a save by Luke Jansen. Pow, right there. At least. Caught with his head down, now popping back up to his feet. It was Aguero's bender. I was worried for a second he was just laying on the ice.
out in front, could not do it. GSB forces it out of the zone. Here comes Tramontano with the icer. Wow. Julian Tramontano for the GSB Knights. This was huge for GSB. After that BSM win earlier this afternoon, they knew what they needed to do, and they are swarming their goalkeeper 